Hey guys, and welcome back to Beastmakers, where we last left off. Uh, we were going to go do the tree shrub. Oh god, he... I didn't even know that could happen, he killed a critter. We're going to go do Misty Bog and the treetops. Two levels that I was... Well, actually, one level that I was really not looking forward to, because uh, treetops can go suck a fat one. But, when it goes well, it's a fun level. And Misty Bog's directly ahead of us, so I guess we'll go do that one first. Just because. For science. Misty Bog's not a bad one. As I said in the previous video, it has some certain areas that are a little bit finicky. A little bit tricky, if you will. But uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get through it with good old brute force and ignorance. Because that's the way we roll. Entering Misty Bog. Let's go, Spyro. we got a job to do, after all. Now, I'm looking forward to getting to the next level, because the next level is my favourite level. Ooh, uh, or the next um, hub world, I should say. It's my favourite. Man, I love the Dreamweavers. Okay, so what have we got set up here? Ah, we want him to, be get, to get caught, because then we can kill you, grab your treasure, and free the little chicken. Um, okay. <laughs> that actually counted. I didn't think it would. I thought we were going to get in trouble. Now, these these trees really suck. Really hate these guys. Pretty sure they were tougher on the PlayStation 1, actually. They just seem to move faster, I believe. Now, this level is very, very uh, multi-segmented. Uh, I think it's the best way to put it. It's very bitty. Itty bitty. Now these dragon frogs, or whatever the hell these things are called, these things have a deceptively large range on them like that. They really can reach out and touch you in all the bad places. So the best way to dispatch them is just be quick, at least that's my method anyway. Alright, not bad Spyro. What have we got on this level anyway? 500 gems and 4 dragons. Okay. Well, looks like we've got some work ahead of us. Alright, come on you. No point hiding. There's our first dragon. Who have we got? Always look behind these places as well, because you never know. You never know where they might be squirreling. Ah, oh, listen to that music, squirreling gems. Like so, you see? You see? Listen to me, and I shall never steer you wrong. Well, maybe I'll steer you wrong most of the time. But sometimes, I have words of wisdom. Oh, this is an unfortunate scenario we see before us. Alright, we'll deal with him in a minute. <clears throat> Listen to that music, man. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They attack are frogs. blooded killers. Attack Frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Oh, don't worry, my friend. It will be a nice swamp once again. Let's go back to the reignited music. Alright. It's just punchier, I think. Not that there's anything wrong with the original music at all. The original music is, is fantastic. And in all fairness, like, the reignited music isn't much different. But it is dynamic, which is nice. So, you know, it really kicks up when the action starts. Which is an interesting design choice. I suppose it makes the levels a little bit more ambient. Right, let's go. Charge! Oh, that's so unbelievably satisfying. Alright, <laughs> Nork rules! I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, that's the fuck factor over there. That's quite a delicate little area. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. We have business to attend over here. Oof. Oh, yes. You know, this is probably one of my favourite games of the generation, to be honest. I don't even feel bad by saying that, you know? Easily my favorite HD collection. 
out of all the HD collections we've had, and we've had lots. Whoa, see what I mean? See what I mean? That little creeper will sneak up on you. It'll creep up on you. I don't know why you uh, allow that to happen, Spyro. Whilst he's eating you, flame the bastard from the inside. Burn your way out of his flesh. Honestly. I mean, the Halo uh, Master Chief collection is fantastic as well, but holy shit, did that launch broken. Who have we got here? Zeke. Welcome back, Zeke. Thank you for releasing me. You're most welcome, Zeke. Alright, more attack frogs. Whoa. Wow, they just threw a little bit of everything in us then. And we've lost sparks. So, we need to be a little bit careful here. Do oh god. I didn't even see him. Where the fuck did he come from? Jesus. Now, I wouldn't say this game's difficult because it's really not, but you do have to be on your toes in certain areas. Oh, I see. He's actually there he is all the way over there in the distance. I like the way he actually kills the enemies. That's kind of cool. Right. Need to be careful. Don't want a hog chasing us down now. Alright, not bad. Now these fish in this bog remind me of those uh, fish from the medieval game. Oh, that was a great remake as well. The only thing that would have made that remake better, and I know I'm probably being greedy, is it would have been nice to have medieval 1 and 2. Uh, on that collection. That would have been pretty sweet. Because I never really played uh, Medieval 2 anywhere near the amount that I played Medieval 1. Uh, I played Medieval 2 pretty much exclusively with a friend. My half brother, no less. Kind of ish. Complicated story. Long story. Right, let's go save Bubba. Welcome back, Bubba. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Uh -huh. Smash them, Spyro. Stamp them out and squish them and squash them. <laughs> <laughs> How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. <laughs> I like that. Little nod. Good man. Alright. Okay, so where are we at? We're on 115. We've got a lot to find. Uh, I'm not confident about this area. Let's go have a little scoot around. Look at the waterfalls. Man, they really pushed the Unreal Engine to do some pretty impressive things here. To be fair, it's a pretty game on the Switch. You know, let's not pretend that it isn't. But, man, on the Xbox and the PlayStation, it really does. Uh, it really does shine, let's just say that. Absolutely gorgeous. Just the fact that we can play this on a handheld system is incredible in my opinion okay because you know my opinion always was with the crash remake that the original games crash one two and three in my opinion are still the best versions um, of the game whereas with the Spyro trilogy like this really is the best way to play it you know uh, it's what a remake should be, you know, it completely supersedes the originals in every single way. With Crash, uh, not so much, especially not the first game. Visually better, yes, but when it comes to control, no. The originals are definitely better. Now, interestingly enough with this game, Toys for Bob actually had direct help from Insomniac. Because Sony actually wanted to bring Spyro back in 2014. <clears throat> That's where, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the hype for this, um, or the idea for this game actually started from. And it was only when Activision saw how well the, the Crash remastered uh, did that they actually greenlit the, this. Because for a long time there was um, a, a, quite a debate over whether they were going to do the remakes, were they going to reboot him, were they just going to make a new game. Um, and I think they made the right choice. I definitely think they made the right choice. And, you know, we, we have been spoiled for 
remakes and whatnot this generation. Some people don't like them, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind the remakes, you know. See Crash come back in all his glory, kind of. And Spyro to come back, that was like a dream come true, man. And let's not even get into Final Fantasy VII. I know, Final Fantasy VII, the way they're remaking it is weird and not exactly optimal. But <sighs> we still do have the original games. And for everybody that doesn't like remakes, and, you know, I get it, I understand. You know, you don't have to buy them. And I know there are people that also think that having all these remakes actually takes uh, development time away from uh, like a full new game. And that is that is not true at all. You know, these remakes are usually used to gauge uh, interest in the franchise. Especially something like Spyro and Crash that have been essentially dead for so long. Ow! Bastard. Um, and... They're usually outsourced as well and handled by a small team. Or even if they're not outsourced, they're handled by a very small team. The remakes of Zelda. Wow. Well, uh, for releasing ooh. me. It seems like I've been trapped in Demon. here since I was your age. Oh no. <laughs> I, I remember uh, uh, gotta go. Yeah, cheers, Damon. Let's go. Yeah, so the remakes um of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, for instance, they only took six months to complete. And they were actually done by a team of uh, new Nintendo uh, employees. It was kind of a training exercise. So, you know, remakes don't actually hurt the industry at all. But if a remake sells poorly, then, you know, that, that generally does hurt the franchise as a whole. Okay, not bad. Right, let's go home. We are done here. We have all the dragons. We do. Um, yeah, so, you know, you know, buy them if you want them. Don't buy them if you don't want them. It's simple as that. What I did think was quite unfortunate is the new Crash Bandicoot game. Which was obviously greenlit due to the popularity of the uh, series, uh, the remakes. Actually crashed and burned pretty bad. It was savage. Apparently it uh, has bombed really, really badly. And that's a shame because apparently it's really good. And it's a lot more forgiving as well than the remakes. You know, it's a lot more modern. Um, but yeah, I heard that it was actually a very good Crash Bandicoot game. I didn't buy it because I'm not as into Crash as I once thought I was. But uh, Spyro, oh yeah, I'd be all over that shit. Anyway, let's get home. Yeah, I'd like to know uh, your opinion on this sort of stuff as well. Do you like the remakes? Do you think they're cool? Do you buy them? Do you not buy them? Do you still prefer the originals? Because obviously everything I'm saying here is pretty much my opinion. I'm not God. These are just my opinions, not facts. Um, yeah, we got all that, didn't we? Yeah, we 100% in this area. Oh boy, right, well, let's not overlook the elephant in the room any longer. Although we do need to go get healed up. I think that... Oh god, that hog literally just... Uh, hit the water there which amuses me greatly oh saw that happening yeah I saw that happening well that was bad luckily oh nice very nice I don't really understand how we're getting so many blues I still don't understand that but you know I'm not gonna complain okay so tree tops Now, if I was a treetops, where would I be? Pretty sure I'm around here somewhere. There we go. Oh boy. 
One of the most interesting levels in the game, but a bit of an arse of a level as well, if I say so myself. I mean, I know, I know a lot of people love this level. Um, <laughs> I also know there's probably an equal amount that hate it. Okay, you ready, Spyro? You got the clone vats going. Warm up those clone vats. Because we're going to go through a lot of lives, I'd wager. I do like the monkey enemies here. They're pretty cool. The small ones throw bananas at us. The big ones kick us in the face. You know. Okay. You can get fucked. So what are we dealing with here? Three dragons, 500 treasure. I'm pretty sure 500 treasure is now the standard. Look, right. One thing I will say about this level. It is beautiful. It is unbelievably gorgeous. Look at that. And that's not even the best like vista of this game. Wow, I didn't even see those bananas there. Don't you hate it when you get blindsided by bananas? There we go. That's some good health. Alright. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. So, the main rub of this level is it is all about the super jumps. There are lots of super jumps. Like, lots of super jumps. And we need to chain them together. Oh, look at it, guys. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. I do wish the... Xbox had a dedicated screenshot button like the PlayStation. I mean, the new controllers do. Lyle, welcome back, buddy. Greetings, Spyro. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Ah. Nope. We're going to do many superchargers. Right, so. Yeah, there are a few little levels dotted around. Uh, a few little platforms, I should say. Hard to reach places, you know. So I think the best thing to do is to 100% what we can get to now. And then we'll move on to the uh, supercharge ramps. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're pretty generous with lives on this level as well. Which drops a pretty big hint to the difficulty of said level. Now getting over there is a bit of an ass. That's one of the challenges, getting over there, where that thief is. That thief is a dick. Now, he doesn't actually have a dragon egg. He's just got uh, gems. But, you know, there are gems, so... We want the gems, goddammit. We need to use this ramp a little bit later on. But for now... Let's just... Do what we can down here. Look at that. What's that? Life number three? Oof. Dude. Alright. Snatch that up. Get fucked. Okay. So, where are we at? That's pretty much the meat picked from the bones. Now we've just got to tidy things up. Okay. You can see there's still a lot left on this level a lot left on this level now we have actually missed out the middle bit you can see just how slow our internet is by how long it takes to upload a photo a screenshot yeah trying to upload a 30 second video clip through the xbox is impossible practically it is not fun I did a speed test before I started recording this morning, and we're getting 6 megabits. Yes, yeah, right. Not, no, no, no. Not 60. No, 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 no. You heard right. 6. Yeah, our internet speed doesn't actually qualify as broadband. Broadband has to be 
uh, over 20 megabit, I believe. 20 or over. So yeah, our speed is actually so slow, it is not classed as broadband. Yep, and in a few days, we're going to be going into 2021. Alright. So, let's start getting these superchargers going, shall we? Now, I've just got to remember where they all are. So... Uh, we've got this main drag here to sort out first. Piss off. Now, you got to be careful of those guys, because they can really fuck you over by kicking you off. All the way down to the bottom. Davy Jones's locker, or whoever the hell is actually down the bottom of these two tops. Probably death, you know. You know how death likes to sculpt around. Okay. And there we have a super jump. Right down there. Okay. Right. Isaac. Isaac. Spiral. You jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm um, all over it. Yes. We're well aware of that, Isaac. Right. So, we need to go this way. Oh, God. Fuck that one royally up. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot whether we was meant to turn left or right there. We were meant to turn left. And I didn't actually turn either way. Right, let's try that again. Let's see how many lives we can go through. But first, let's grab that. Okay. 320. Now, yeah, this just takes us back there. Which we really don't need to go. Uh, you're good, buddy. Actually, we will flame you guys. See if we can get some lives. Because we're going to need them. I mean, we've only got nearly 60, so... Alright. Come on, Spyro. You would have thought I'd have practiced this level. But, uh, you know, I did play it a few weeks ago, so... Ugh. Okay. The thing is, I actually do... As much as I whinge about this level. Oh, we missed an enemy. Or is that... No, I think they've just respawned because we died. I actually do really like this level. You know, when you pull it off, you feel like a badass. When it goes wrong, you feel like a moron. Can you guess which category I'm in? Okay, so let's head over here. Let's try not to jump through the actual floor there, Spyro. Okay, cool. Now, do we have any enemies up here? What was that monkey boy? There he is. Hmm. The enemies are respawning in very strange patterns uh, as well. I've definitely noticed that. I don't notice that on the, uh, the PlayStation version or the... Um, switch version you know when you die all the enemies come back so why only a few of them are respawning i couldn't tell you all right ah uh, oh, so close all right that's the one that's going to cost us a lot this one is going to really cost us but we're in the best place to actually retry so so i want to go through here Boing. Go over here, over that one, jump, try and hit that, over there, and done. But why? You can see how Spyro is pointing down where he should have been gliding. Uh, that's, that's the problem that I have, because we actually did the correct uh, path, but I'm not sure why sometimes he just... He doesn't straighten up. See, and again, too early. Too early. Ugh. Let's see if we can do this within 10 lives. <laughs> That's going to be a tall order. 10 lives or less. Let's go. 
bounce. Uh, Spyro, no buddy, that's not what I wanted you to do. And the easiest way to reset is to just die. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. I've done this a few times before, quite a few times before. We can do it again. And why do you keep doing that, Spyro? That's really annoying. I do want to blame the control pad, but I know it's not the control pad. I know it's not the control pad. Right, okay. There we go. See, that time, flawless, no problems. Do you know what I did differently that time? Absolutely nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. That was a bad angle on my part. See, that was my fault. That was just a crap angle. Uh, you know, I watch people do this flawlessly, uh, flawlessly, and I'm just like, my jaw's on the floor. I'm just like, ow. But how, though? Teach me your secrets, master. Bestow your knowledge on me. Right, there we go. That was a good launch. You see? And I don't feel like I really did anything different. Although, I guess it's all about the angles. Nice. Okay, Jed, welcome back, Jed. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Death yeah, does well, that to you. You could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Yeah, buddy. This spot sucks. Okay, okay. So that was one of two <laughs> of the tricky jumps. We have uh, we've accomplished that much. So. Now, we need to go through... Right, let me just try and eyeball it on the map. Uh, let's just take a ride, see where, it, see where it takes us, shall we? Through there, through there. Nope, that was not the correct way. <laughs> that was not the right way to go. God damn it! Hey, at least I wasn't wrong. I knew this one was going to be pretty savage. Oh, um, why, why are you putting us all the way through here? If we can come out of this level with 40 lives, I'll be, I'll be pretty happy with that. Okay, so there's a launch ramp there. You can see where we need to go. And I know we need to hit two um, ramps to get there. But I can't even remember which two that we need to hit. We definitely need to hit this one. Then we need to definitely hit that one. And Spyro really should have put his wings out there. Right, one second, guys. I'm going to have some practice. Once I know the room, <laughs> that's half the battle. You know. Okay, so this is the spot we need to be in. Uh, also, that monkey guy that was standing there, the reason he seemed to have respawned was because he still had a gem, apparently. Right, anyway. Whilst we're young, eh, Spyro? Let's do this. Hold on to your ass cheeks. Oh. <laughs> Fail numero uno. Oh, God. How many are we going to get to? How many are we going to get to, Spyro? I apologize the torment that you're about to find yourself in me lad but you know it's for the good of dragon kind or something oh jesus okay fine okay all right that was not too bad we actually only died twice i believe on that yeah twice on that part so not too shabby i guess and that's that. Level 100% completed. Oh, and there's my most hated level. The treetops. Out of the way. Not bad. Okay, so. Misty Bog and the treetops. Done and done. So, I guess we're going to go fight Messelhead. 
Ooh, although that's going to have to wait for the next video. Metalhead's quite a fun boss level as well. There's uh, a lot to that one. Lots of hidden items and, well, I say hidden items, lots of hidden areas with gems and such. I do like Metalhead. Such a fun level. Right, anyway, guys, so when we return... Uh, we will be going for the boss and then on to my favorite world. Oh, no. Hang on We need to do the flight level don't we? Yes Yes, okay, so when we return we'll be going off to the flight level and then doing metalhead. I like metalhead <laughs> uh, Possibly one of my favorite bosses in the game. I think So till then guys. Thanks for watching